Now that you spent some time reflecting on the identities that shape your positionality, here are some ways to help you take those reflections into your research. The first practice we recommend is drafting positionality statements. Positionality statements can vary in length and are essentially brief descriptions of the mosaic you embody and reflections on how your positionality influences your research. In the statement, you're explaining where your positionality grants you a helpful perspective on a topic. It is also where you can address how your positionality makes you liable to misrepresent or misunderstand the topic or community you're researching. For example, maybe you're writing about the experience of first-generation Latinx students in out-of-state colleges, but you are not Latinx and are one of many in your family to have gone to an in-state college. It's easy to make assumptions about a positionality you've never embodied. The positionality statement can be the space where you note these differences and indicate how you plan to remain in dialogue with how these differences might influence your research. Remember, the goal is not neutrality, but awareness, so you can make sure you're giving voice to the positionalities beyond your own. Depending on your major, you may not be required to write a positionality statement, but we definitely recommend creating one as a way to remain mindful of your mosaic as you begin your research. Another way to remain mindful of your positionality is to share your research with a mentor or instructor. They can bring the subject expertise and the perspective of their own positionality to help you identify voices you may have left out in your initial research. To help you include those voices or remain mindful of your positionality, they may recommend you use a specific methodology. We hope these tutorials and exercises help you better understand yourself and identify strategies to remain self-aware and inclusive in your research. Thanks for listening.